The story has been told many times before, by history teachers, parents, or perhaps your elderly neighbour, but we've never heard it like this. For the first time, not only do we hear the story, but we can see and feel what it was like to be on the Rainbow Warrior almost 30 years ago. A play produced by two Auckland theatre groups, Fallout commemorates the tragedy that shook our nation. The story itself is an important part of New Zealand history and it's the right time to be remembering that story and to kind of bring it to life in a new way. And there's never been a play produced about that before. It's no fairy tale, but it is a story that needs to be told. Now that I know a lot about it, it's a huge part of New Zealand history and I think it's something that New Zealand can be proud of. It should be told in lots of different ways, not just in a theatre space. There are lots of other ways that we can tell the story and we should. Since the tragedy, a handful of documentaries have been made to tell the tale of the Rainbow Warrior. The idea of retelling the Rainbow Warrior story is it's an essential part of our, our New Zealand history. Documentaries for me are kind of a way of, of going back and seeing those people that were involved in that very specific event. You've got to remember things like that, whether it be a play, whether it be a documentary, whether it be a book. And though the curtains have fallen, the week of sold out shows has done its part to keep the Rainbow Warrior in the hearts of New Zealanders.